Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about the effects of poverty. That what poverty is the producing the consequences on the society in Pakistan. So many people in our country go to sleep without taking food every day. This is very unfortunate that people do not find enough or adequate resources even to feed themselves. The people living below the poverty line are also susceptible to chronic diseases and are also vulnerable to other petty crimes. So a huge chunk of population in the country has no access to the basic healthcare system and 44% of the population has no access to clean drinking water. So all these factors are pretty much considered the effect of poverty. But let's talk about certain different aspects or certain different effects of poverty one by one, uh, which are pretty much interrelated to each other. However, if we look closely, these aspects are considered very important from the developmental aspect. So let's look at them one by one. Number one is child labor. Right now, we have more than 12.5 million children who are involved in child labor. So these children are between the age of 10 to 14 years of age, and 61% of these children are boys, and most of them are living on the street, and 88% of these children are from rural backgrounds. So you see that these uh, poverty is one of the major contributive factor on the child labor because uh, if the parents are poor they are unable to afford so they force their children to go out and earn for themselves and then we have the crime and violence according to pakistan crime and safety report of 2019 there were 29900 property crimes in one year and 379 murders, 1,220 assaults, and 2,650 kidnappings. So, uh, 3,115 robberies, uh, 4,300 vehicle theft, 3,700 motorbike thefts. So, you see that all these crimes are uh, pretty much reflexive of poverty as one of the pushing factors to the criminals or one of the justifications for their crimes that they say that they are not having enough means of subsistence so they had to engage into antisocial activities. But then we have the terrorism that Pakistan is facing the serious issue of terrorism in the 21st century. There a strong relationship has been observed between poverty and radicalization usually those people who are engaged in terrorism activities especially the unfortunate suicide bombers who were radicalized they were mostly from the poor background the foreign direct investment is considered uh, another uh, factor uh, that is being affected because of uh, the terrorism and also the domestic investment and government spending so when all these three aspects are affected because of the terrorist activities, they would ultimately produce the poverty. So improving law and order for the business activities is a must and a basic, uh, um, is a basic requirement in order to receive the investment uh, or in order to win the trust of the investors. And then we have the health problems. Uh, because of the poverty, according to WHO 2019, uh, neonatal mortality in Pakistan is 49 children per thousand live births, whereas the infant mortality is 55 children per thousand live births. So you see that most of these problems are directly the effect of poverty in Pakistan because people are unable to afford the health services and health facilities. So they are vulnerable to all these issues. 
and then we have the homelessness that there are 20 million homeless people in the country the homelessness in pakistan disproportionately affects women and children uh, because if women and children are out of their home and rather are on the street they are more vulnerable to the further extreme crimes like kidnapping and rape and multidimensional poverty is a factor for the homelessness in pakistan so it is uh, consequently affecting for people for being homeless because even when they cannot afford their means of subsistence they are unable to afford housing uh, or safe living for themselves we have the shorter lives uh, as compared to the other countries especially the developed countries currently pakistan's life expectancy is considered to be 67 years whereas uh, in extreme cases where we have uh, impoverished population this life expectancy can go further uh, can be lowered down uh, so it means that the poverty has a direct effect on the life expectancy of the people when we do not have enough food we do not have enough resources for the survival our life expectancy is under threat and juvenile delinquency is another direct consequence of poverty mostly the poor children are involved in petty crimes and that's why they become the criminals and around 2000 juveniles are imprisoned in pakistan right now they tend to commit de delinquency to feed not only to feed themselves but also to feed their families and all these uh, factors can be contributive to the hunger as well because if you do not have uh, resources for survival the hunger would be the direct consequence of that situation so pakistan is ranked 78 out of 113 countries in the global food security index of 2016 so this is another very sorrow figure for pakistan that it is positioned on 78 among all the available countries and 43 percent of pakistani population is facing the food shortage or food insecurity whereas the 50 percent of children below the five years of age in Sindh province are considered stunted which is also another direct consequence of poverty and Pakistan is ranked 106th out of 119 countries on the global hunger index so all these figures reflect that poverty has a lot of dangerous and daring consequences on the population as a collectivity that needs to be addressed adequately.